Hey guys, check out my t-shirt. Stop building ugly condos. Yeah, I think that's a cause we can all get behind. So someone wanted to know if I had any advice about how to use a digital whiteboard during the exam. Yeah, I would say try to minimize how much you use it during your exam because it crashes all the time. Guys, this digital whiteboard has been broken and filled with computer bugs since the day they gave it to us. Before I give you my strategy, let's talk about why it was created. The digital whiteboard came when NCARB introduced remote proctoring. Because the problem they had was when people took a test at home and they used the scratch paper and wrote down every single question on the exam, there's no one at your house, there's no test proctor to take away that paper from you. So NCARB introduced the digital whiteboard as a replacement for scratch paper and it hasn't been very successful. But the scratch paper is gone and it's never coming back. So let me tell you how to use it properly. So first I'd say, don't grab that pencil tool and try to draw with the mouse like you're drawing with a piece of paper. It won't work. That's not how it's supposed to be used. The best way to use a digital whiteboard is to just type into it and to jot down quick notes. And one of the things I actually really do like about the digital whiteboard is you can copy and paste entire parts of questions and just throw them in there and use that as a reference to help you answer other questions on the exam. I'd also say avoid using the eraser tool on the digital whiteboard. Just keep opening new tabs. When I messed around with it, I got tons of bugs and errors every time I tried to erase something. So don't erase anything. Just keep adding more and more stuff onto it. And the last thing I'll say about the digital whiteboard is yes, it sucks and yes, you deserve better. But keep in mind, when NCARB eliminated the scratch paper, they went through all the exams and really took a close look at every question and really started to think about where people were jotting things down. And they tried to eliminate your need to write things down by modifying the questions. So I would say the goal with the digital whiteboard is try not to use it a whole lot.